Okay, so right now I'm in the planning stages of this house. Um, a couple things I have kind of like plotted out what I want to do and I've made a few things. So the first thing is I have burlap scrapbook paper. I had this in my stash, which was nice. And I decided to use this as carpet. Why I chose not to use wood paper, which is what's originally the plan, is because I felt that the wood floor up against the wood paper for the log cabin, it just kind of all blended together. I might change my mind. I might go and see if I use a darker wood floor, if that kind of gives it, if that offsets it. I don't know. I don't know. So I haven't made that decision yet. Right now I'm just kind of plotting and planning. I know that I want to use buffalo plaid for the parents' bedroom. It just has like that super lodgy kind of feel. I made the beds last night. These are the beds I use. Some wooden beads and an old tree round that I had left over from ornaments that we made for my son's birthday. This is the Dollar Tree furniture. We have a dresser here. I actually really like that the drawers don't open since a two-year-old is going to be playing with this and I don't want him to break it. Although, I guess that'll probably be broken in a hot second, but we'll see. This I got at Hobby Lobby. Okay, remind me to glue that. Um, I got this at Hobby Lobby. It was um, like a little photo thing that had like a, a photo ring in it that I just pulled out. I thought that would make a cute little plant or pine tree rather. This was from the Dollar Tree. This is their little vanity. So it doesn't match obviously. So I'm going to either paint it or Sharpie it up. I don't know. This paper I had a bunch of, but I'm going to have to order a couple more sheets. So let's see what's next. What am I planning and plotting? All right, down here, this is the boys room and this is the girls room. I'm having like a crisis with these rooms right now. I'm not really sure what I want to do because both of them, both of these papers come from the Let's Go Camping collection from Cartabella, but I only had a few sheets left in that collection. The sheets I like really wanted, um, I had used up already. So this paper I absolutely love for a little girl's room. This, I'm not so sure. This is super busy. So, but I love it. It's got like cute little like, I don't know, camping and fishing and everything. I thought that maybe I could like put a fishing lure on the wall as like decor. I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, I might not keep this wallpaper. Down here, I have no idea what's going on because like I said, I don't have any, I don't have enough full sheets of that collection to um, continue it down here into the kitchen and living room areas, but I do kind of want it all to coordinate, um, which is why I went with Buffalo plaid because I feel like the red kind of, it echoes in both the boys room and the girls room and the parents room. No clue what's happening up in this room yet. I need to put a bathroom somewhere so it might go up there. But I kind of wanted a baby's room, so I, I don't know. Now, down here, I'm playing around with different options for the floor. I don't know. I really liked this this hexagon, not hexagon, um, chevron wood paper. It just was super fun. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to keep it, though. I don't know if it feels very lodgy, and that's the whole vibe I'm going for with this house. This background paper is from Cartabella's Christmas Delivery Collection which I had a lot of this paper left over because I accidentally ordered three packs of it like a year ago when Echo Park had a warehouse sale and I did not check my cart properly. So I was like, all right, let me use it up. I could, it looks like woodlandy. So I thought I would either use that for the kitchen or the living room. Right now I have it in the kitchen. I'm not sure how I'm feeling about it though. But I think I have to use it because if I still have three, paper, three papers left. The whole goal is to do this project on a very tight budget. So here's what I've spent so far. Um, let's see. These were a dollar for a pack of four. The beads I already had, I already had that. So 
let's say for the beds it was a dollar. The furniture is a dollar twenty-five. Um, so one, two, three, four, five dollars. So yeah, I would say about five dollars per room. I found this cute little dollhouse at um, um, Michael's. It was like in their make it section. So the only thing I actually had to really spend money on, this is a kitchen table I'm trying to make work. The only thing I actually bought was I bought a kitchen set. I could probably make a kitchen out of like little blocks. I actually bought a couple um, Dollar Tree jingle blocks because I plan to make the living room furniture. Uh, wish me luck with that. But with the kitchen, I just didn't want it to be janky looking. I needed it to look like an actual kitchen because this is my son's favorite room in the house. He loves pretending to cook. Um, he's been playing with this. The refrigerator is adorable. I can't wait to stock it. So this is where I'm at. This is the the planning stage. Uh, that's pretty much it. I'll come back when it's done.